What's up, my YouTube brothers and sisters? This is Rockwell43. Uh, coming at you with an update. Uh, it's been a while. Um, you know, trying to get some stuff done around the house. Uh, I was rearranging my my man cave. Um, you know, just working on a bunch of stuff. Um, trying to get a better area to do my videos. Uh, need a little bit more lighting. It's a little dim still where I'm at, so I'm work I got some light lighting com coming. Um, so thought I'd do a quick video, let you guys know I'm still around, still doing my thing. Um, what you're looking at now is uh, my RS4. Um, got a couple more things to do to the body, but just about done. Um, got a couple things, you know, here and there to do. Uh, take the body off that you see uh, I'm about to move you around a little bit sorry for the movement um, it's uh, probably about 95% aluminum this is a GPM I would have done it in Entergy um, but Entergy doesn't have a lot of aluminum for this RS4 at least I couldn't find any um, these are Entergy shocks and I've used Serpent Springs on them um, but uh, all the rest of it is a uh, GPM got the aluminum diff housing housing uh, steel drive shaft that's all G or steel center shaft that's all GPM and the drive shafts as well uh, got contacts. I got the cold weather contacts on it now. Um, I plan on trying to get some runs in. Um, nothing crazy because we still, you know, still searching for that that spot. But I will be trying to get some decent runs with this. Um, I have to put the receiver in uh, in the servo horn. And uh, do something with all these wires, <laughs> get them looking decent. Uh, but other than that, she's almost ready. I'm looking forward to playing around with it. Uh, by the way, uh, shout out to Killer Mods, uh, he was the one that definitely got me interested in this baby. Um, oh, also, this is a uh, Saga Custom RC's uh, chassis. RS4 and his motor mount. Awesome job. Um, let me put you back in here. But like I said, I'm going to play around with it. I'm just going to do 6S. Uh, try to have some fun with it. Um, also, I'm going to give a shout out to my man, uh, Mr. High Power 82. One of my 70 plus club brothers. Uh, he has a Challenge. Oh, by the way, uh, shout out to all my 70 plus club brothers and sisters. Um, club still around, waiting for some more, excuse me, tryouts. Um, but Mr. High Power 82 has a 2S challenge going on, wrestler only. So, uh, putting something together for that as well. Um, waiting on a servo for this. Um, this is a J Concepts High Speed Illusion body. Um, sorry, got to take you out again. Um, <clears throat> got my MM2 3800 KV Castle with no weights. GRPs. Um, I know Texas or Central Texas RC has a 3S challenge as well and I got something Rustler got something coming for that I'm going to build a, just a separate car period for it um, that's going to be all Entergy like I said I'm going back to using a lot of Entergy in my build because uh, I just like the fact that you know it's got a lot of colors and I can personalize the car you know the way I like it um, and like I try to tell everybody, I'm not saying you need it, but it, it's just a 
it works for me. Um, I've been using their drive shafts for a really long, well, I'll show you in a second on my slash. But um, I'll show you those in, in a second. But anyway, this is going to be for the 2S Challenge. And then I got something for the 3S Challenge that I'm working on. Um, got a bunch of MTG builds coming up. Um, I wrecked my rally slash the orange one and was able to salvage a bunch of the entity orange parts off of there so uh, let me take you out again um, my plan is I got in touch with my man Brian from Custom Fast RC if you guys remember he did a really sweet uh, slash 4x4 crawler so um, that's what I'm going to be doing with the other parts I just ordered some new stuff to go along with the orange stuff that I had um, these are the drive shafts that I'm talking about. These are the HD drive shafts that I've been using uh, on my speed run rallies, and I never had a problem with them. Um, I broke the X01 style. I spun the the, the axles off of those, um, and that's what made me go to these HDs. But I never had a problem with them. These are some awesome drive shaft so I'm gonna try that on the crawler build and see how they work with those but that's gonna be like I said a slash crawler I'm trying to figure out a body and um, I gotta get with my man Brian to get some of his expertise on some stuff I'm gonna put you know a winch and all that good stuff on it so that's one of the builds and then <clears throat> I'm doing a drag bandit um, got the shocks and a suspension kit for that as well and then this one is the one I'm real I really can't wait to get into this one this is my X max <clears throat> excuse me um, that's the suspension kit for the X max uh, got shocks and the battery hold downs coming so I'm looking forward to that as well um, so I'll be going back to doing a lot of aluminum stuff in my builds, my speed run cars as well. Um, so hopefully, like I said, uh, I can get back full time into this thing and you know get these builds done. But um, just wanted to peek in on everybody and let you guys know that I was good to go. Um, I have been venturing around the people's videos uh, see everybody's out there doing their thing um, you know like uh, Jam Spec says RC for life uh, like my man <laughs> Lamont always says get that speed and um, hope to be full fledged in a couple of weeks um, so until then, uh, have fun, do, do what you do, and peace.